Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Fields, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to ceiling shuffle. Now before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. I had like the other kickoff video blow up, and then I keep getting constant views from all the other tutorials on my channel, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be making ceiling shuffling for you guys very easy. I'd say start out with the Batmobile. The reason why I said to use the Batmobile is because this car makes it so easy to ceiling shuffle just because how big the wheels are. It's possible to ceiling shuffle with every single car, obviously, but some cars are easier than others. For example, the Octane and the Batmobile are very easy to ceiling shuffle with, but the Dominus, the other flat cars that have wheels that don't stick out, those cars are going to be very hard to time the turns with, but with enough practice you can do it with any car, but I just recommend the Octane and the Batmobile for starting off. Alright, so first I'm going to explain how to do it forwards and then I'll do backwards afterwards. So the main thing about ceiling shuffling is getting two wheels on the ceiling that are on the same side. So something like this. Right when I landed on the ceiling, the two opposite wheels went to the ceiling and then the wheels that initially landed on the ceiling, they fell. I landed on the ceiling with my right wheels, so I'm going to turn right initially. Right as my right wheels drop and my left wheels go up in the air, I'm going to turn left. So if my right wheels landed on the ceiling first, I'm going to turn right first. And then once you see your left wheels hit the ceiling, turn left. Like I said, this mechanic's all about timing. It's really not that hard of a mechanic to do, but um, it just takes time to learn. Backwards, it's pretty simple. You want to get the motion down of getting two wheels on the ceiling at the same time, but making sure you, that your car is positioned backwards. And instead of holding drive for this one, you guys don't want to hold reverse. So if you land on the ceiling with your left wheels, right as you hit the ceiling, turn right. Right as you turn right, you notice that your right wheels will go up, and that's when you turn left. This mechanic backwards is literally the same thing as the mechanic forwards, but opposite. But once again, for forwards, make sure you guys land with two wheels on the ceiling, and right as you land with the two wheels on the ceiling, turn your joystick in the direction. So say I'm landing on my two right wheels first, I'm gonna turn my joystick to the right first. So say I'm landing on my two right wheels first, I'm gonna turn my joystick to the right first, and vice versa with left. If you land on your left wheels first, you're going to turn your joystick to the left first, and then after that, just timing of when to switch and use the opposite direction with your left joystick. Backwards is the complete opposite. If you land on your left wheels initially in the back, you're going to turn right, and then if you land on your right wheels initially, you're going to turn left. I'm sorry if I did a bad job explaining this, but trust me, this mechanic is not easy to explain at all. Again, thank you guys for the support lately. We've been getting around like 500 subs a month, which is just crazy to me. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, and uh, yeah, have a great day.